हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स बाय डॉक्टर नवनीत फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द रोल ऑफ इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर फॉर सॉल्विंग द नॉन एक्सैक्ट डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट मींस हाउ दिस इंटीग्रेटिंग फैक्टर इज यूजफुल फॉर रिड्यूसिंग द इक्वेशन दैट मींस नॉन एक्सैक्ट इक्वेशन टू एक्सैक्ट इक्वेशन और इन एक्सैक्ट फॉर्म so before going to uh, this integrating factor concept uh, let we uh, let me introduce you the concept about the exact differential equation in our previous video lecture already we learned how to solve the example based on this exact differential equation let's try to uh, revise this exact method friends now we can easily solve any example by exact differential uh, equation uh, with the help of these four steps so first step is that Uh, write down the given equation in terms of m dx plus n dy. This is the standard form for exact equation. Then find the value of m n and find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y and n with respect to x. So this is the second step for solving the exact differential equation. Then third step is find uh, if the partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. If this condition hold, then given equation is always exact. this condition is also called as a condition for exactness if this condition hold then given equation is exact and if equation is exact then surely this condition hold so then uh, step number 4 is uh, solution of this exact differential equation is uh, integration of m dx in the first integration y is constant plus integration term on n Uh, which are free from x dy is equal to uh, c so this is called as the exact equation now to understand first this exact equation let me give one example so example is suppose equation is x dx plus y dy is equal to 0 if we wish to solve this example by exact method then here the value of m value of m means it is the coefficient of dx so this value is x and that of value of n is y so after finding uh, step number 1 step number 2 uh, find out the partial derivative of m uh, with respect to y so here we are taking derivative with respect to y that means x is constant so derivative of constant is uh, zero similarly if we find the partial derivative of n with respect to x then this value is also equal to zero so this indicate that partial derivative of m with respect to y is exactly equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x that means this condition hold so this indicate that given equation is so this indicate that given equation is exact equation so because of this condition we get about the uh, idea about the exact equation then if we apply the formula for solution then integration of m dx so here value of m is x dx here uh, y is constant plus integration take only a uh, those term in n which are free from x so here only single y is there so we can write this as y dy is equal to uh, c so if we uh, easily integrate this equation then we get this as x square by 2 plus this is y square by 2 equal to uh, c so this is the simple uh, technique for Uh, solving the exact differential equation where we use these four standard steps for solving the example so friends here equation becomes exact if this condition hold that means if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x then and then given equation is exact and if equation is exact then this condition hold so this is the one example related to but there are some example where the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x so this indicate that so given equation is non exact so, so this indicate that given equation is non exact so for example so let's take the uh, simple example uh, so we will take a simple example so where this condition does not hold so Uh, suppose uh, example uh, example is uh, if we uh, try to solve the equation uh, y dx minus x dy is equal to uh, zero. 
if we solve this with the help of this exact method, then here uh, the value of uh, m, value of m is y, and that of n, so value of n is uh, minus x. So if we uh, find the partiality of m with respect to y, then this value is one. So again, if we find the partiality of n uh, with respect to x, then this value is minus one. So this indicate that. So this indicate that partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. That means these two partial derivatives are not equal. So as these two partial derivatives are not equal, so this implies that given equation is non-exact equation. So given equation is non-exact equation. That means if this condition does not hold, this indicates that equation is non-exact. And vice versa, if this is non-exact, then this condition does not hold. Now, friends, here a question is that for such type of example, this condition does not hold. That means it is non-exact. Then question is that how to solve such type of example. So for solving such type of example, we require some integrating factor. So for converting non-exact equation to exact equation. So that concept is called as integrating factor. That means sometime when the given example is non-exact, then for converting this exam, non-exact example to exact uh, form example, we require some multiplying factor and that multiplying factor is called as integrating factor. So for example, uh, this, this equation, so this equation is non-exact, but if we uh, multiply, uh, but if we multiply, if we multiply, if we multiply this equation by 1 upon x square, then what happen? So here this become y upon x square dx minus x upon x square dy is equal to a 0. So this equation remains as it is y upon x square dx minus 1 upon x dy equal to 0. Now again if we check the condition of exactness then here the value of m is y upon x square and uh, that of value of n is minus 1 upon x. Now find out the partiality of m with respect to y. So here uh, if we find the partiality of m with respect to y then this 1 upon x square is constant and derivative of y with respect to y is 1. Similarly if we find the partiality of n with respect to x then this become derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x square so this minus minus become plus 1 upon x square so now check that these two terms are equal so therefore partial derivative of m with respect to y is exactly equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x that means if we multiply this non-exact equation by integrating factor or some multiplying factor as 1 upon x square then this equation becomes exact so this implies that equation becomes exact so this is exact equation so this is one of the multiplying factor similarly if we multiply this equation similarly if we multiply given equation by 1 upon y square then what happen? So if we multiply by 1 upon y square, then this become y upon y square dx minus x upon y square dy is equal to 0. If we simplify this, then this become 1 upon y dx minus x upon y square, then dy equal to 0. Again, if we compare this equation uh, with the standard form, then here the value of m is 1 upon y and that of n is minus x upon y square. Now once again find out the partiality of m with respect to y. So derivative of 1 upon y is minus 1 upon y square. Similarly, find out the partiality of n with respect to x. When we find the derivative with respect to uh, x partial derivative, that means 1 upon y square is constant with minus sign. And derivative of x with respect to x is 1. That means these two partial derivatives are again equal. So therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y 
is equal to partiality of n with respect to x. So this again impl implies that given equation is exact equation. So given equation is exact equation. So there is one more multiplying factor. So again, uh, if we multiply, if we multiply given equation by one upon x y, so this equation become y upon x y dx minus x upon x y dy equal to zero. So again, simplify this. This become one upon x dx minus one upon y dy equal to zero. So here again, the value of m is one upon x and that of n is minus one upon y. Now find out the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So when we find the partial derivative with respect to y, x is constant, so the derivative is zero. So similarly, partial derivative of n with respect to x. So here this is again zero. So that means if we uh, check the answer of these two term, then that answer is zero. That means given equation partial derivative of m with respect to y equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. This indicate that given equation is exact equation. That means friends uh, try to understand the concept through this example. So here this is the example. When we uh, solve this example with the help of this uh, method of solving uh, exact differential equation. Uh, so we get the condition that so these two partial derivatives are not equal. That means given equation is not exact. But if we multiply given equation by 1 upon x square, that means if we multiply given equation by this factor, then this equation becomes exact. That means these two terms are equal. Similarly, if we multiply the given equation by factor 1 upon y square, then again this non-exact equation becomes exact. Again, if we multiply the given equation by factor 1 upon xy, then again this non-exact equation becomes exact. Now here question is that we convert this non-exact equation to this exact equation form by multiplying this suitable factor. Such a suitable factor is called as integrating factor. So this is the definition of integrating factor. So definition of integrating factor is so for non-exact equation we multiply given equation by some suitable factor and converting that non-exact equation to exact equation so then such a multiplying factor is called as integrating uh, factor so now friends here 1 upon x square 1 upon y square 1 upon xy are the integrating factor now here question arises how to identify such type of integrating factor right so this is the question so for finding such type of integrating factor, there are four important rules for finding the integrating factor. So these rules are which are given here. So rules for finding integrating factor. So very first rule is that when given equation is non-exact, given equation is non-exact means partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. If this condition does not hold, that means given equation is non-exact. So for converting non-exact equation to exact equation, these are the four important rules. So what the first rule says that if this condition does not hold, then first rule is if the given equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero is homogeneous, homogeneous equation, then integrating factor is one upon x m plus y n, where x m plus y n is not equal to zero so that means if this condition does not hold so very first thing is that so apply rule number one so that means to check whether given equation is homogeneous or not so equation becomes homogeneous when the degree of each term of that equation is equal and equal to some number and that number is called as the degree of that equation so for example uh, so if we write uh, x square plus y square then this is homogeneous of degree 2 equal to 0 but this equation so for example x square plus y square plus 1 equal to 0 this equation is not homogeneous so this is homogeneous because degree of this first term as well as second term is 2 but 
for this equation degree of this term is 2 degree of this term is 2 and degree of this term is 0 because this is constant term that means this is non homogeneous equation right so this is the definition of homogeneous equation that means when given equation is not exact very first tool we have to apply that is to check whether given equation is homogeneous or not if homogeneous then apply this rule number 1 then rule number 2 if the equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is of the form so either y into f1 of xy dx plus x into f2 of xy dy is equal to 0 or we may write this as f1 xy y dx plus f2 xy x dy is equal to 0 that means uh, in the coefficient of dx y is common in the coefficient of dy x is common so from this coefficient or this y is also uh, um, written in uh, multiple with uh, dx or this x is also written in multiple of dy so that means if we uh, get the value of y common from this uh, coefficient of dx and if we get the value x common from the coefficient of dy then rule number 2 is applicable then in such case the integrating factor is 1 upon xm minus yn where the value of xm minus yn is not equal to 0 so this is the formula for finding the integrating uh, factor so difference between first and second is that so here we are getting plus sign here we are getting minus sign so that means very first rule we have to check whether given equation is homogeneous then second rule check whether y and x is common from first and second term of the standard uh, exact differential equation then rule number three so rule number three says that if the differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero and partiality of m with respect to y minus partiality of n with respect to x upon n so if we find this ratio or if we find this term then if we get answer in terms of x or constant say f of x so this f of x means so after calculating this term we get answer of this term in terms of x only or constant then in this case integrating factor is e raised to integration of f of x dx f of x means the answer which we are getting after calculating this term so which is in terms of x so this is the rule number three now rule number four if the differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to zero and again partiality of n with respect to x minus partiality of m with respect to y upon m is a function of y or constant that means after calculating this term we get answer in terms of y then in that case integrating factor is e raised to integration of f of y dy so friends these are the four important rules uh, for now finding the integrating factor once again i will revise so role of integrating factor is to convert non-exact equation to exact equation then here question may get rise in your mind that so which rule we have to apply first so when equation is non-exact first try for homogeneous that means first try for the first rule that means check whether given equation is homogeneous so then if it is not homogeneous then try for second rule check whether y and x is common in the first and second term then if these two rules fail then apply rule number three rule number three says that calculate this term if we get answer in terms of x then apply rule number three if we fail to get answer in terms of x then go for rule number four so find out this term uh, then after finding this term if we get answer in terms of y only then apply rule number four so for such type of non-exact uh, equation so if we apply this four rule then surely that non-exact equation becomes exact and for converting non-exact equation to exact we require the integrating factor so this is the importance about the integrating factor in uh, non-exact equation so in our next video lecture we are solving the example based on this uh, four uh, rule so friends uh, in this uh, video lecture uh, our uh, object objective was uh, to understand the role of this integrating factor we discussed the role of integrating factor here i hope you people like this lecture so please watch our previous uh, next video lecture 
uh, as well as previous video lecture. In previous video lecture, you will get idea about solving the exact equation. And in our next video lecture, you will get idea how to apply the four rule for finding the integrating factor. So friends, I hope you people like this video lecture. So thanks to one and all for watching this video. Thank you.